I'm Joel, and welcome to Keep Your Enemies Close, the show where best friends get to take part in some amazing challenges. But not all the challenges will be alongside each other. Oh, no, they'll be ruthlessly mixed up and forced to play alongside their enemies. Could you turn your enemy into a frenemy? Let's meet the four pairs of best friends who are willing to do just that and put their friendship on the line. They're all in the mix-up. First up are Chelsea and Rowan from London. Then Marshall and Jamie from Tamworth. Next up is Phoebe and Connor from Cardiff. And finally, Sam and Reese from Swansea. We've seen the best friends, but what makes them tick? Hi, this is Rowan and she's 12. And this is Chelsea and she's 11. We're cousins, but also best friends because... We have interests in the same thing, such as guides and water sports. We also love to recite the alphabet backwards. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, then comes P, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, H, G, E, F, E, D, C, B, A. <laughs> we think we could win because... We are cooperation and teamwork with each other. <laughs> and we also know everything about each other, which also helps. We are the best kids and not like the rest! <laughs> I'm Jamie and I'm 11. I'm Marshall and I'm 11. We're best friends because we both go to the same school. And we love football. One time we accidentally called our teacher a nickname. A Miss Mushy Peas. Her real name was Miss Peas. But we, ne re we never realised she was behind <laughs> us. We want to win this for our mums. Hi, I'm Connor. And I'm Phoebe. And we both love acting. Yes, we do. We came first and third in the National Lace Dead Squad together. I'm ten. And I'm nine. We both like sports. I like running. And I like tennis. We are such good friends because Connor looks after me a lot and so do I to him. And we both have a secret handshake. For Cardiff and the Purple Team. I'm Reese, I'm 10 years old and I'm from Swansea. Hello, I'm Sam, I'm 10 and I'm from Swansea. We like to go um, and play in the backfield of ours. I remember running, running and falling on sting nettles. We had to cover them in plaster, so like a flaming mummy. I remember when we were playing football outside for nine hours, and after that, Reese was like a zombie. I think we deserve to win this for Swansea. Wales and, and for ourselves. And for my granddad. It's now time to put the best friends through the first and possibly last challenge they'll face together. Here they not only gain a psychological advantage, but they'll also gain a unique reward if they win. This is the hand of friendship. And it can come in very, very handy if any of the best friends make it to the final. As we play this. Tube strike. These are massive tubes and they're powered by little best friend legs. He'll be able to see just how well the best friends work together as they've got to navigate across some pretty bumpy terrain. They'll start in one corner, they'll then roll to the opposite corner, flip up their tube and strike down their team-coloured target. Only once that's hit the floor can they then roll back into the middle, flip up their tube once more and try and burst the one and only big red winning balloon. A big bang here will mean a big victory, plus the hand of friendship. Keep your friends close. <laughs> Purple's Phoebe and Connor hang back as the other friends collide. Pink Sam and Reese roll Silver's Marshall and Jamie out of the way. Oh, so close to a silver hit. They're jumping like kangaroos. It's Blues to win, surely. Silver down, the pressure's really on the blues now. Oh, so close. Congratulations, <laughs> Chelsea and Rowan. Let's take a look at that victorious moment one more time. They took a tumble, but a clever run to one end to flip up the tube eventually. What about a treat? A little like, oh. Did you have a tactic? No, no. Really. <laughs> because I mean, you got there before. You I mean you had time to hang around? I mean, you yeah. were you were mulling, you were going, "What way should we go? Let's keep missing it." Finally, you got it. 
and you've won this. Now this, that, have a little feel, is a hand of friendship. Now this can be the difference between winning and losing if you make it to the final. But I have to ask you at this stage, do you think you can go all the way? Definitely, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why is that? <laughs> Cooperation. Cooperation, but you work well as a team? Yeah. yeah. Well, interestingly enough, you guys will be playing against each other. That's right, best friends will be playing against each other. But the rules to keep your enemies close are simple. Before each challenge, the mixer will mix up the best friends to create new pairs of frenemies, two people who don't know each other. The frenemies will have to put any differences aside and work together in order to win. After each challenge, the losing pair will be eliminated and sent back to the mixer and locked down. So, four pairs become three, then three become two until only one pair remain. The winning pair of frenemies split and release their best friends from lockdown. Reunited, they will face the final to win. Keep your enemies close. Let's mix it up. Oh, but who will the mischievous mixer put with whom? Let's find out. And the first pair of frenemies out of the mixer is Reese and Rowan. Next out of the mixer is Chelsea and Jamie. Next out of the mixer is Marshall and Connor. And finally, Phoebe and Sam. First, we've got Rowan and Reese. Now, Reese is a fan of rock. Green Day and Nickelback are his personal favourites. Rowan's taste is pure pop. Lady Gaga and Girls Aloud, well, they couldn't be any more different, could they? But I wonder how they'll sound each other out. See what I did there? And then we've got Chelsea and Jamie. Now, Chelsea reckons boys make up boy germs to get out of things, like man flu, which, can I just add, is completely real. And Jamie reckons girls can be way too bossy. Well, will this be a frenemy relationship that germinates? And then we've got Marshall and Connor. Now, Marshall is not a risk taker in any way, shape or form. Connor likes to take risks sometimes. Well, will these guys risk a big victory? And finally, we've got Phoebe and Sam. Now, Phoebe thinks boys talk way too much, whereas Sam thinks that girls talk way too much. Uh-oh, friction alert. One of these pairs of frenemies will be eliminated as we play this. Pump action. Here, the frenemies have to pump as fast and as furiously as they can, using these pumps, which supply air to these inflatable hands. Once there's enough air in the hands, they will then explode. At that point, the frenemies have to take off the airlock and apply it to the next hand until all four inflatable hands have exploded. The last pair of frenemies to explode all the inflatable hands will be eliminated. So, good luck, and remember to keep your enemies close. Pumping in tandem is key. This will lead to quicker pops like these ones. Look at them go. Everyone is pumping their third hand already. Quick stuff. Sam and Phoebe slightly out of sync there. Yes, go, go. Oh, one, one, one. Oh, look at that for a changeover. And look at that one. And that one, these guys are speedy. It's incredibly tight. They're all on the final hand, which is the toughest one to pop. Phoebe and Sam! Oh, oh. Which means keep going. Let's do it for let's do it for, for morale's sake. We're all frenemies here. Go, go, come on, Reese and Rowan. Okay, let's stop. I'm getting bored. Let's have a look at where it all went wrong. Even though they were first to start pumping the final black hand, they failed to burst it. Look at it. Whose fault was it? It's a blank. Yes. Okay, all right. Don't know why we're not like that. We, Rowan. Why was it Reese's fault? He wasn't pumping at the same time as me, and that was apparently the plan. Uh, Reese, what do you say about to that? She wasn't pumping enough. At this point, you've both been eliminated, but it's not over because your best friends can win you back for the final. Well, for the moment, Rowan, it is lights out and lockdown. 
race to this point. We won't see you in the final unless Samuel can win you back. But for the moment, it's lights out and lockdown. Only six players remain. I think it's time to mix it up again. What pairings will the mixer create for the next game? Only the mixer knows. The first pair of frenemies out the mixer is Chelsea and Connor. And next up is Phoebe and Jamie. And the final pair of frenemies out the mixer is Marshall and Sam. So we'll start with Connor and Chelsea. Now, Chelsea reckons she's random, bubbly and unique. Connor reckons he's kind, funny and happy. Also good qualities. But where will the competitive drive come from? We'll find out. Next up, we've got Phoebe and Jamie. Now, Phoebe would love to be Kelly Rowland for a day because she has a great voice. Jamie would like to be Akon for the day because he rules. Akon, not an acorn. Akon, the popular rapper and art and b singer. And finally, we've got Marshall and Sam. Now, Marshall's superpower would be stretchy arms. Sam's superpower would be super strength. Now, Stretchy arms and super strength. And these two could be a force to be reckoned with. But who will make it into the next round? Only one way to find out. Let's play this. Gutted. The aim is simple, to get these four orange orbs and roll them to the opposite end of the gutter and place them in that pocket there. But there's a problem, as these four big green orbs are blocking the way, so the frenemies will have to use the pit stops to their advantage. The last pair of frenemies to get all the orange orbs in the pocket will be eliminated. I bid you good luck, and remember, keep your enemies close! <laughs> The gutters are deceptively heavy and quite tricky to tilt. In the centre, Marshall and Sam have all the orange orbs behind the green ones. Okay, come back. Oh, oh, yeah. On the right, a flurry of activity, orange balls tumble down. Oh. Jamie and Phoebe have put all four orange orbs in the pocket. Bring back down this way. Oh, that way, that way, that way. Wait, wait, wait. Connor tips and tries to clear the green orbs out of the way. <laughs> He's done it. He's actually done it. It's a good chance. Yep. One. There goes two. Three. He's in there as well. Uh, more, more. No. Stop. One more. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. That way. There goes four. Well done, Chelsea and Connor. But for Samuel and Marshall, let's have a look at what went wrong. Yeah. Well, in the end, confusion oh, reigned. Yeah. This is the blame game. Whose fault was it? Oh, you're, that's a, that's I mean, me. This is a mate. This is this is magnanimous in defeat. You're taking the blame like men. Samuel, why was it your fault? I always kept them beginning to drop a green orb into this part too, so we couldn't get the orange balls back. We could not And Marshall, why, why are you taking the blame? When the balls kept on rolling up here, all the um, orange balls kept on going in this little socket. Well, for you, it's not over. Your best friend can still win you back. Samuel, unfortunately for you, it's just. Just at the end, it wasn't enough there. But you've been a great competitor, but you are headed for lockdown. Marshall, in the end, you got well and truly gutted. But for the moment, it's lights out and lockdown. So, for you, Sam, it was a short tenure. You did well to do as well as you did. How do you feel right now? I feel happy and I think it was fun to take part in that. Exactly, you had fun and Reese. You as well, you did really well, but unfortunately for both of you, it's lights out and elimination. Four players remain. Let's mix it up one more time. It's getting serious now. Who will the mixer throw together for the penultimate challenge? The first pair of frenemies out of the mixer is Chelsea and Phoebe. 
and they'll be facing Connor and Jamie. We'll start with Chelsea and Phoebe. Now, Chelsea cannot stand the smell of popcorn because one time, at a sleepover, she ate far too much of it and was sick. That's like me and macaroni cheese. Can have a look at the stuff. Phoebe cannot stand the smell of smelly socks. Well, it's a good job these two aren't going to the cinema without any shoes on, because that could be a real issue. And finally, we've got Connor and Jamie. Now, Connor reckons other boys make far too much noise. It's the same opinion as my dad. Jamie reckons other boys moan when they lose. Well, let's hope these guys don't suffer a classic case of noisy losing then. So, who will make it to the final? Let's find out as we play this. Spanner in the works. Here are two oversized spanners and two oversized bolts. The aim of the game is to get the nut of the bolt as quickly as possible. The spanner, now that can move 360 degrees, but you frenemies can only move 180 degrees. You have to stay on your side of the white line. Now, for Phoebe and Connor, you're guaranteed a place in the final. But for Chelsea and Jamie, you need to work double as hard to win back your best friends. The first pair to get their nut off the bolt wins. Good luck. Keep your enemies close. Connor and Jamie soon find out the spanner fits very snugly around the nut and it takes a bit of effort to squeeze it on. Chelsea and Phoebe are really in the groove. We can do this. <laughs> Terrific moral support. It's working. Drop it one. Quick. Boys are catching up now. I know how to put it on now. I think they're ahead. <laughs> Phoebe struggling with that oversized spanner, and the boys have. Yes! They've taken the lead just then! Connor and Jamie are really cooking now. They need just a flick it off for victory. Remember, the nut's got to be completely off the bolts. It has to hit the floor. Oh, I, don't, I don't know who's going to win! It's gonna be! Yeah. It couldn't have been any closer. Let's have a look at a replay. You're not gonna get any closer to winning than that, but a sensational win for the girls. Well, it's elation for you two. You are frenemies, but you're like best friends. I've never seen someone carry their frenemy like this, like a baby. Congratulations. But, Jamie, you were really behind. And then suddenly you got your rhythm on, and look how close you were. God, can I just do it for my own sense of well-being? Let's just take it off. There we go. I mean, how are you feeling right now? Mm, a bit annoyed. Connor, you can go and join your best friend Phoebe over there. And Chelsea, you've also had the ability and the determination to win back your best friend. The best friends are all back together. Connor and Phoebe, what's it like to be reunited once more? Very cool. Very cool indeed. Chelsea and Rowan, you started brilliantly. Shall we take a look at your wondrous, victorious moment one more time? Now, this hand of friendship, it's important. We'll find out why later. But do you think you can continue the great winning momentum you've built? Yeah, definitely, because we've got a bit of an advantage because of the earlier challenges, which would help us. Who will be proved the best of friends? Let's find out as we play this. The final. This is the final. On this grid are the words, keep your enemies close final. There are 15 different letters in those words. A letter will be lit up and a category will be given. You will then have to give me two correct answers, starting with that letter from that category. For example, if the letter was R and the category was girl's name, your answer could be Rebecca or Rosie. There are loads of different answers that you could give. You'll have five seconds to give me a correct answer and the sound you will hear when time is up is this. 
to correct answers sends your enemies along that track. Closer to those shoots up there. Now, those shoots are filled with slimy, disgusting, horrible clag. You really want to lag behind the clag. If you fail to give me two correct answers, then you yourself move along the track. Now, your aim is to get your enemies to that clag barrier right there. Now, Chelsea and Rowan, you won the hand of friendship. Now, you can use that if you don't think you know the answer to a question, but you have to say the words hand of friendship within the five seconds. Let battle commence. Phoebe and Connor, you go first. Your letter is... I. Category. Country. Time starts now. Ireland. Um, Iceland. Ireland and Iceland is two correct answers. A brilliant start there from Phoebe and Connor. And oddly enough, Chelsea and Rowan are applauding them. This is an odd practice. You are enemies. <laughs> OK, Chelsea Rowan, are you ready? Yeah. Your letter is... R. Category. Food or drink. Time starts now. Ribena. Rice. Ribena and rice is two correct answers, which means Phoebe and Connor move along that track. Phoebe and Connor, are you ready? Your letter is... M. Category. Food or drink. Time starts now. Marmites. Melon. Right before the buzzer, Connor came up with melon. Literally in a snip of time, that's two correct answers. Marmite and melon, which means Chelsea and Rowan. You move along that track. Are you ready, Blues? Yeah. yeah. Your letter is C, category, British town or cities. Time starts now. Chelsea. Is that a city? Yeah. Um, hand of friendship. You've used the hand of friendship just before the buzzer, and Chelsea wouldn't have counted anyway. So you played it really well. You could have had Coventry, Cardiff or Chester. You've had loads of answers. You use the hand of friendship, which means it's back even. Phoebe and Connor, are you ready? Your letter is... N. Your category is also British town or city. Time starts now. Newport. New... And that's not Time's up. You gave me one correct answer, Newport. If you'd followed it up with something like Newcastle or Norwich or Nottingham, unlucky. Which means you're heading ever closer to those chutes filled with clay. Chelsea and Rowan, the minus hand of friendship now. You've got to get this right to keep going. Are you ready? Your letter is... N. Category. Boy's name. Time starts now. Nick. Nelson. Nick and Nelson's two <laughs> correct answers, which means that Connor and Phoebe, it's edging ever closer. Are you ready? Yeah. You want to get this right. Your letter is... M, category, boy's name. Time starts now. Michael. Max. Michael and Max is two correct answers. It's like a seesaw. Who will end up on top, though? OK, Chelsea and Rowan, are you ready? Yeah. Your letter is... S. Category, band or pop star. Time starts now. Your mind went blank. You could have had Sugar Babes, Sasha, Snow Shapeshifters. Patrol. Snow Patrol. Snow Patrol. <laughs> Even Phoebe's helping you out. OK, Phoebe and Connor, you ready for this? Your letter is... P. Category, band or pop star. Time starts now. Um. 
Time's up. You could have had pink, pixie locks, pussycat dolls. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. So, Chelsea and Rowan, one correct answer here sends your enemies in. Although it looks like you don't want to send them in. This is like, but you, this is the game. This is it. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Go on then. You've got to do it. Your letter is. K. Category. Country. Time starts now. Kenya. Kazakhstan. Kenya in Kazakhstan means you send the enemies through. I'm sorry. You shouldn't apologise. You should be revelling in this moment. So, Vivi and Connor, how are you feeling at this point? Well, I'm happy that they won because they were my friends and I'm proud of them. This is noble, but it's time we sent you in. Chelsea Rowan, congratulations. Before you send your new enemies or best friends, whatever they are now, do you have any words you want to say to them? Sorry um, you're getting ganged, but it was either winning or getting clagged, so... Well, anything you want to say in response to that? Yeah, I enjoyed it up to this final, so it's going to be fun getting guns as well. Isn't this beautiful? Send them in! Phoebe and Connor, was that fun? Yeah. Better than you thought? Yeah. Let's have a look at it again, shall we? Bish! Bash! Bosh! Chelsea and Rowan, congratulations. How was sending them into the gunge there? Uh, I didn't really want to do it, but... Oh, well. <laughs> really? I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. I think you really have proven that you are best friends and well-deserving of our solid silver Keep your enemies close medallions. A right and a left makes a winning pair. And enjoy. So, remember to keep your enemies close, but your friends even closer. Welcome to the British Museum. You must face wondrous challenges. Uncover ancient mysteries to become guardians of the museum. Fail, and you shall never leave. Relic, Guardians of the Museum, starts Thursday at 4:35. See BBC on BBC One. They say I'm the one true warrior. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Suddenly, I'm zapped into this place that's beyond freaky. You are in the spirit world. I'm talking to a dragon. And someone seriously powerful is out to get me. Still, it is pretty cool having superpowers. And I do have a great backup team. Have a look at this. Now, nothing is going to stop me getting home. Starts Friday at 5.45 on the CBBC channel. Go, yeah!